Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Let's play Judas. Judas sounds like a fun character to play. Judas sounds like an incredibly fun character to play. I don't know what, uh... I don't know what... I don't know about you. Oh man. That makes me so happy. I love seeing the parasite right away. That's like the best thing. It's just such a fun item to use. Just because it's, it's kind of unique in its use if you use it as well as you can because if you aim just off-center properly you can hit with the first of the split tiers as well as the first tier so it's doubling your damage if you're using it well and it's just kind of amazing it is special uh, I am gonna wait on it this time normally I don't but I'm Judas I'll take a super bandage if I can get one all right monstro did not kill me, so we're good. Range up helps uh, Parasite a little bit. That's cool. Go for this. Okay, Liberty Cap is a random mushroom effect each room. Or it's like a 25% chance for one. So that's cool. Get wrecked, fool. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, to fully explain the Parasite, when your tiers hit something, they split into two tiers that travel perpendicularly. And uh, that makes it so that uh, stuff happens. Uh, those tiers have half the range of whatever was remaining of your range, which is pretty good. So, uh, the moral of the story, though, is that you can do the thing I said where you do double damage if you aim properly and it's a ton of fun because it's kind of like a skill-based damage up, which is something that I like. All right, so we've got us a parasite. I'm excited. Do this. It's also good for crowds, as you can see there. All right, don't need that. Fire fire rate for a room. Judas does have 35% uh, more damage than a normal character. Which can be nice. But considering he has way less health than any of the other characters, it's not, well, Samson. We don't talk about Samson. He does have less health than Samson starting, technically, just because Samson starts with the soul heart. But uh, Samson doesn't have any advantages, unlike Judas. Still, uh, we, we have a pretty tough start in some ways. I'm not taking this yet. <laughs> I hope you don't blame me. I will get to it, though. Boss challenge room is nice. Okay, didn't accidentally go there. Show me the cat. Okay, that's not Cat of Nine Tails. I'll fight it now, because I'm probably going to get health up from the boss as well. And the thing about this is that... Uh, I don't have much health for deals with the devil, and I'm gonna get a deal with the devil on this floor unless something goes wrong in the time between now and the time I earn that devil room. So it doesn't really make much sense not to get extra health for that in case I want to take some stuff that uh, might not be the recommended course of action, which is normally what I want to do. You know, I'm just trying to prepare for myself because myself is trying to make this very difficult for me. All right, haven't been to the item room and that's fine, I'll get there. All right, nice and hefty damage up, plus two. Also an increased double room chance, 25%. But on this floor I already have 135, so I guess I have 160%. All right, get a soul heart for that, get a health up for this. Show me the goods. The goods. That's one damage up, 0.2 speed up, and one soul heart. And I am a fan. I'm still gonna wait on this until after I go to the item room, just in case it's telepills. I have plenty of bombs for this tinted rock. Show me a small rock. That is not a small rock. Oh, 
Oh my, Halo Flies has been showing up a lot, and that's it's not something I'm complaining about. That's fantastic. But weird, because that gives us two orbitals that will uh, block tears and kill flies. Not there, so I guess it's here. That's surprising. What? It even made a pattern. What is that luck, though? It's 20 freaking cents, and then some. I'm getting my key gambling on. Alright. I want to do this once, just to see if I can... Alright, no luck. So I can switch back to the Liberty Cap for now. And I'm also gambling on that when it doesn't get me keys, because it can give me soul hearts and tarot cards and things like that. There we go. I can put five more cents into this and still not feel bad. Alright. Of course. Alright, so then we can bloody penny it up for a little while. This is why. It pretty much pays for itself. <laughs> and then we get an IV bag. So basically I would have as much money as I want. Let's go visit the shop and then see about uh, doing the IV bag thing real quick. Now let's also open this up. Blue baby soul, no thank you. Okay, I'll take that, and that, and this. Tears up, fantastic. That is so good. Though, so just by using this properly, dude, what is the luck going on right now? Just by using this properly, uh, abusing invincibility, you can get infinite money very easily. I'm going to get up to 99 cents. And then, rather than gambling more for keys, maybe I'll get like a couple more keys, but I'm not going to keep going. I'm just going to leave once I have maybe one, one more pair of keys. So. And you can just hold space through this, by the way. So it's very, very good. Alright, get out of here. How many more do I need? I need a bunch more. This is going kind of slowly. Alright, nickels help though. I haven't seen any dimes, but with the nickel luck I've had, I'm not complaining. This is more money than I think it is, but it's still not enough. Oh, I dropped it. Because those stupid hearts decided, screw you, buddy. Can you, like, all get out of the door? Thanks. I'll probably finish this after I... Oh, wow. I did it perfectly to 99. I didn't mean to, obviously, because I didn't mean to stop. But that's pretty weird. <laughs> I'm just going to gamble on both of these until I get some more keys. Magician, okay. And I will take Lucky Toe. I'm sorry, I'm just going to do this right here real quick, because this is very quick. Alright, let's get out of here. Lucky Toe increases the drop chance for stuff at the end of the room, and uh, also increases the number of things chests can hold. Alright. 
So we are in there. Accidentally the secret room? Not a bad problem to have. Three cents that I can't use if I want to. By the way, homing tears does affect the uh, split shots, so you can like triple hit if you're uh, lucky or have low enough shot speed like with uh, Sacred Heart. But I, I don't really expect that. I think it's just for making your shots more consistent and the second shot more consistent. Because if it's curving, it's likely to hit at a tangent pretty much, meaning that it's pretty easy to get the doubling you want. That was close. Good stuff. Oh, that's not fair. That was a stupid spawn. It shouldn't have spawned there. Like, actually, though, it shouldn't have spawned there. That's a shot speed up, so I'll be skipping it. I think that shot speed is not worth having, no matter what. That is my opinion. You are allowed to disagree, but I don't want that. Uh, so, small rock is one damage up, 0.2 tiers up, and 0.2 speed down. We're back at our starting speed, because remember the mark was 0.2 speed up. They perfectly cancel each other out. And both are one damage up, but uh, Morok is also a bit of a tears up, which is fantastic. Dead Sea Scrolls. Don't want that. I don't even know why I touched it. There is no reason to touch it. It's not in any other pools, and it doesn't help me at all to do so. It only makes me less likely to refresh. Well, twice at least. So um, now I was on the hunt for the shop, which I was about to say, but then I found the shop, and so I said it anyway. Shop couldn't be greed, so I'll just buy the key and the bomb and be on my way. I don't have money equals power or anything, so it's not like I have to worry about my money count staying at 99. Even if I did have money equals power, it wouldn't be the hugest concern. But basically, things are going pretty well. All right, might bomb for this. I do like me some chests. Yeah, let's do it. That extra one cent is the difference. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eternal Heart becomes a health up once I get it to the next floor, which I will do promptly. And it'll be great. So that makes up for not taking stem cells. And that's good. Shot speed up ruins the pole or the Polaroid, the, the parasite, by the way. Pretty much. It means that the bounce or the split shots will like go forward still. And thus have uh you can't use them against walls, basically. But it might help a little bit with certain angles of um against enemies. No secret room. Just wanted to check in case it was lucky or something. Definitely don't want this item. I prefer not having the extra healing because it ruins Polaroid invincibility all the time. And I certainly don't need it this early in the game with this level of health, so... I don't think it's worth having either. Okay, this will get me to the boss challenge room. Played it the third time in case I got something nice from it. Uh, tinted rocks count as a form of chest, so they do have extra drops in them, thanks to Lucky Toe. Range up. I waited long enough, but uh, if I had done that at the wrong time, I would have accidentally spawned both waves at once. Wouldn't have been a big deal because it's still pretty easy at this point, but uh, that's a mistake that you can easily make and uh, you probably don't want to in most situations. So just avoid using the Book of Belial too early in a challenge room. Either use it before it or after the wave has fully spawned. That's, that's your PSA for this. Alright, I did pick up the 9 volt which makes it so that I always have two ticks of charge left over for my spacebar item after using it. 
which for the Book of Belial makes it a two room charge rather than three. Super Gluttony could get me another speed down, but two health up. Only half a heart filled. Still very good. Ow. But that didn't happen, so I guess it doesn't really matter what could have been. I'm gonna finish the floor before fighting the boss. Doesn't really matter. are dead to me. Curved Horn is being uh, my new thing. That's plus two damage, and it like is plus two damage. It doesn't go through multipliers and stuff. That's pretty nice. 50% chance this was greed. Instead, I get a treasure map. Shows me the full layout of the floor. Secret room location, just not the top secret room location. Doesn't tell me what any of the rooms are. Kamikaze flies do twice my damage. So they're okay. Alright. I expect this to be a sacrifice room, honestly. But it isn't. So I guess that's a thing that happened. Alright, let's go to the secret room and then go fight the boss. Sun card is, uh, oh, well, it's a thousand red hearts of recovery, so it doesn't affect blue baby. This is something that's been argued. It doesn't, I promise. Uh, it is also 100 damage to every enemy in the room, and the full map for the floor minus the top secret room. Another very good thing to have. So let's go to this again. Pretty much shooting for a blood bag, getting one. Can't get the IV bag anymore since I already got it. That's health up five, uh, four red hearts of recovery. And a uh, 0.3 speed up. That's pretty useful. All right, nice stuff. There's the cat of nine, so I don't want that. That's purely a shot speed up and nothing else. However, this is fantastic. This will get us the lump of coal, which means that for every frame a tear spends on screen, it will gain 0.14 damage. Minimum of 0.14 damage up, no matter like how close you shoot your tears. And the nice thing about it is that uh, with a lump of coal, as you or with um, parasite, as you can see, the tears continue from where they left off when they hit, not from base. So basically, it gives you a lot more damage. So like the doubling is fully effective. And it's now to my advantage to like use corners and things to shoot instead of trying to shoot enemies themselves. Just for that little bit of extra damage. Really cool synergy. And uh, that's kind of why I'm actually valuing range ups right now because they make everything so much better with uh, the Parasite. So we're, we're just building right now, and it's it's building well. Okay, red patch, no thanks. When I get hit, a uh, chance to increase my damage by 1.8. 20% chance to do that. Loki's horns is a chance to fire in all four directions whenever I shoot. It's special, but it's okay because I already have special item. Try that again. Range up, fantastic. Float, kind of what I was expecting. Ow. Float, stop it, please. Meet, health up and point three damage up. Guppy's paw would be a really smart thing to take. All right, I'll make the exception because I always die with Judas, pretty much. So I'll, I'll give it a chance. 
Not keeping it, though, as much as I should because my damage is so good that I don't need the Book of Belial. Uh, I'm not keeping it because that's a little much for me. But that trades one red heart for three soul hearts whenever you want. Quite good. So the hope now is to go to the shop and find a purse so that I can hold two trinkets and keep the curved horn. But I have next floor for that as well. This goal is not exclusive to right now. Yes, okay, so I get both shops. Neither one will contain greed, because that's now impossible for either one to contain greed. Fantastic. Thank you, I did need that key. Alright, my range is so good right now. Don't need money for anything, I have 99 cents at the moment. Doesn't mean I'm going to backtrack once I spend it, but it's still a thing that I have as available. Counterfeit penny is a 50% chance when picking up a coin that it's worth one more cent than normal. Alright, let's get to the shop, buy the soul heart and the card, but not the dude. I should buy the dude, and in fact I will buy the dude. This is essentially me paying five cents to enter the curse room because I can't stop myself. Okay. Basically a health up in this situation. And my second of three guppy items. So pretty good. I actually want this guy to pick up money because I want him to give me like tears up pills and things. So we are going to fight greed now. Because this is only an advantage. Alright, show me good things. Not the left hand, preferably. Actually, the left hand would be really good if I didn't have to give up the curved horn for it. I'm still planning on getting the purse on the next floor, so I can't just not. So we're out of here. Alright. Do it, bum friend. Do it! You didn't give me a tears up pill, you jerk. I want to flood the room with my ever-expanding tears. Do you not understand? Alright. Staying at a half heart is to my advantage, ultimately. It might not end up that way f until the end of the floor, but like, it's not like I'm going to be down to that little health that it matters. That I'm missing half a heart. Okay, well I found my item room. Alright, good stuff. Take it, bum friend. Troll. Bad trip, okay. Now I know. Three dollar bill. Different tier effect every room. I'm into that. Just in case I get Polyphemus. Oh, come on. That actually counted as me grabbing it? I mean, again, it doesn't make a difference right now, and I'm probably going to have an arcade on this floor. But really? Alright. There's the boss, but I lack a teleport, so it's not worth you, like, it's not worth fighting yet. So let's keep going, looking around. Let's actually clear the extra rooms, too. Alright, fine. Gave me my key back. I'm not interested in the arcade for the blood donation machine, and since I lost polar invincibility, it's not like I can't get it back. This will work out fine. Whenever I get spectral tears, I'm still shooting poops and fires. You'll have to get over it. Alright. 
So if I get Polyphemus, all I need to do is uh, enter the room and then leave it again until I get Triple Shot and pick up Polyphemus while I have Triple Shot. Then when Triple Shot isn't present, uh, I will have the full fire rate I normally have because they use the same thing to lower your fire rate and thus having only, um, or having one before the other means that when you don't have the other one, you don't have either because it's like, oh, you already had this. It is pretty sweet. No, no, no. Not that. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. And it would be really great with this parasite setup. So don't troll me now, game, please. That was bad trip, I believe. Yes, yes it was. I will keep the sun. That's not the item I wanted. Wanted that to change. Range down. Now I know, range up the... I did get a range up hill that's more up than down is down, but... Still sucks, because, you know... Part of my build is the beautiful range. So that's pretty sad. Alright, show me Guppy. Not quite. Super Envy. Okay. We could get a Forever Alone here, which is an attack fly long distance. Does two damage per hit every few frames. And I have a high fire rate like I seem to right now. Dang. I can't help but flood the room with tears. I didn't go to the secret room, did I? I don't think I did. Let's go. Indeed. Light. Okay. I take flight when it's free. And then let's go fight the boss. Guess I'm satisfied. So this method of fighting the boss is less safe than the normal one. Especially against this version. But it's just what I do. I do believe I'm getting uh, damage tripling though, since both splits should be hitting. Pills, range up times two. Tears up, and uh, not until I pick up the Polaroid will I check that. Bombs are key. I'm happy with that, honestly. Alright. Two range ups and a tears up. Oh, that sucks. That is a long path to the boss. There's a chance that's not the boss, but that's the boss, man. That is the boss. <laughs> that is brutal, though. Glad this isn't a race, because that's... That would suck. Alright, let's see what the secret room holds. Yeah, okay. But if it drops the quarter, I can't give that to bum friend, sadly. <laughs> I wish I could. Thank you. Alright, let's see what he get what he gets. Uh, what does he give me? No. Maybe. No. No, Devil and Book of Belial don't stack, nor does the Book of Belial with itself. So I really don't care for that. No tinted rock. Worth checking at least. I'll take all the bombs, I guess. As long as I don't run out of keys. All right, just checking the map a little bit. Okay. This is utero, so I can fight annoying sucky bosses like masks and hearts. Hopefully, oh wow, I almost walked into the tick. That would have sucked. 
I mean, I couldn't go to the cathedral because I couldn't pick it up, or I couldn't drop it. It's an undroppable trinket. Oops, I'm sorry, bum friend. There you go. Thank you. Question marks. Okay. Alright, at least it didn't do anything horrible or heinous or anything. And just in case it did, I took precautions. Alright. So this should be the boss coming up right after this room. Got this bum friend. Yeah. I love being right. Bombs are key, no thank you do this. Bloat again, not conquest. Oh, Teratoma works too. Huh, I did it wrong, unless it doesn't work against Teratoma, but there's a thing you can do with uh, the Book of Belial where you activate it as the first phase splits, at least on Fistula, and it will count it as you beating the boss and give you an item and open the doors and stuff, so it's pretty weird. However, that devil room was pretty worthless to me, so... That sucks. Is that actually a longer path, or am I crazy? Ow, that was pretty bad. Guess I'll use my second sun card. And now I know, but now I'm going to the curse room because it's uh my chance at being guppy. High Priestess is really good. I'm just going to stick with the sun, though. What is this luck, man? That's amazing. Amazingly, no arcade, which doesn't actually make sense. There should be one on this floor. There not being one is actually not a sensible thing. Alright. Nope. Okay. Oh, ignoring you. Ignoring you so hard. Good job, dude. You picked up that coin real good. Homing tears this room. That's good. What? Alright, well that turns it into a health up right away. Dude, what is with these eternal hearts? It's too crazy. Too crazy for me. Alright, my health is running a little low, though. I've got to be somewhat careful. Oh, I got my reflection. That's always fun. And that actually did a really cool thing for those shots to hit those dudes. Thanks for the useless thing. Alright, there we go. In good shape. Get the doubling on, no problem. Monstro, please. Okay, no problem. Damage is too good. And I just walk into a night for fun, I guess. Alright, doubling effectively. Let's do this. Wow. You evil game. Base left has failed me. Not worth it. Could still be this way. There's a chance. Alright. 
If I can be hitting both of them there, that'd be wonderful. Be nice if there were a blood donation machine that randomly appeared in my life. Oh my god, my orbitals blocked that and it exploded because my orbitals blocked it. That sucks. Thanks. Wow, that lucky boss location after all. Base left, mostly. Based mostly left. I mean, good enough for me. I'll, I'll accept it. I should have saved it, but I need the sun card. Okay, move up a little bit. The doubling works. I really need to get this. Of course, if I blew up that uh, slot machine on the chest, I would uh, gain an item. Just don't stop the doubling. Okay, so far so good. This is why though, because I needed to keep the sun because it's my potential only lifeline right now. I didn't get the half heart. That was blatantly available. Bad strats. Yeah, I'll take chocolate milk. There isn't a reason not to. It allows me to charge my shots to do more damage with them. But the only, the downside, it's also a 20% tears up, or an 80% fire rate multiplier, I guess is a better way to put it. As I always keep saying and never say the first time instead. Ah, it's okay. But yeah, I have to tap for every shot, which sucks. Hey, I could have shortcutted through, but I didn't. Flight is a nice dude, really. Thank you for being dead, bloat. I don't have a half heart. Like, actually taking that item wouldn't be a bad, or that trinket wouldn't be a bad idea. Just gotta be aware when I'm at one heart. I was barely aware that I was down to two. Alright. Two. Don't worry. I got this. Not a heart. If I get my reflection in the boss fight, that'll be really annoying. That'll make my life quite difficult. Alright. Didn't get a half heart? Fine. Don't know what tier effect I got. But I need to use the sun now. To have a chance of survival. And yes, it probably is a better plan to charge my shots before shooting them. But that ain't me. Blue baby's dead. No problem. Didn't get the polyphemus, sadly, but this was still pretty wonderful. I don't know what tier effect I even had there. Maybe I had the lucky foot. But anyway, very fun run. I love parasite runs. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.